going to discuss uh, capping and business hours. Um, the time zone has to deal with both um, of the business hours and the conversion settings, so we, we put that separate out here since it is regarding uh, two different uh, boxes there. But the time zone, you can either decide to put everything into Eastern Time or use the time zone of the buyer. That's all up to you. We'll, we'll send the calls based on what you have set in this time zone to use for this buyer. Now in the capping area, we actually do have two more categories that would make you know two more uh, columns of uh, columns of uh, data here. We can cap the number of calls that we attempt to send a buyer, and the number of calls they actually answer, and then the third and fourth type are the number of calls that have converted, or the total dollar spend. Now by default we have the total number of calls you attempt to send to a buyer and the total number of calls that he answered turned off because usually those aren't used for capping reasons. So if you do need those on, just let us know. Now the types of caps we have, we have uh, counts here or dollars spent here, both uh, all for total, monthly, and daily. And down here we're going to have hourly and then concurrency cap. And I'll show you in a bit here why these are broken out from these other caps. Normally with the total caps, it behoove you to use the dollar figure that someone gives you. So right now this buyer might be paying you $10 and he's trying to buy 250 leads so it gives you $2,500 to spend. If you had put 250 calls here then if he ever changes the amount he's paying you because he wants more calls it's very difficult to figure out how many calls he has left based on this new price of $12 after he's already taken 53 calls. It's, it's very messy. So I highly recommend that when you're doing the total caps that you're going to cap the buyer by how many calls or how much money he's given you. Where he might say I gave you $2,500 but for budgetary reasons I don't want to convert any more than 100 calls a day. So no matter what he's paying he doesn't want to convert more than 100 and he can't spend more than 2500 because that's what he's giving you. Um, down here in the business hours and this is an important thing when you use our wizard to create buyers while you're adding a new offer to the system, either during the initial install of the system or adding a new offer and you're going to use that wizard to install some more buyers, we always just leave them open 24-7 so the wizard's not uh, you know, bogged down by trying to put in the business hours. Typically your buyers are not open 24-7. You will choose specific days and hours that they can accept calls. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that button. Now let me clear that out here. So I just pick full coverage and then no coverage so I don't have any, any. When it's blank like this, that means they're never open and that's not good. Um, so I'm going to come in here and be really facetious here and say that I have this buyer that is open from 8 a.m. to noon Monday through Saturday and noon to 5 Monday through Friday only and at those times of the day he can take 12 calls at a time. So concurrency cap means how many calls he can take from track drive at the same time. And then I'm going to pick, and the colors don't matter, I can pick whatever color I want, but I'm telling the system I know that he told me that during lunchtime I could have left it just blank like that and he would have been closed during lunch, or if I could put in a different color I can say well he's sending off half of his buyers or half of his agents to lunch during these hours, so during red time you'll notice the colors match. He's only got six uh, agents available for us because half of them left to lunch. And then I'm just going to pick any other color. I'm going to say late at night this buyer then has a skeleton crew stay behind and he can only take four calls at a time. So while you normally don't day part his hours of operation, uh, I'm showing you our flexibility here by allowing you to do day parting for when he's open to take calls. And that is the business hours and, and capping area of the buyer edit.